So, uh, Leonard, what is your favorite word? Please. <laughs> why, why please? Because it's kind. Okay. Somebody's using manners. <laughs> All right, so what is your least favorite word? Thing. Thing? Yes. Why, is there because, something wrong with it? Well, yes, there's something wrong with it because thing is always a filler. There's always a better word for the word thing. That means you can't think of the right word. Did you prefer stuff? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't prefer stuff either. I don't like stuff either. Okay. All right, so what turns you off? What turns me off? Uh, stupidity. Stupidity? <laughs> Is that common? Uh, depends where you are, what you're doing. Like freshman class, is that more common than? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Okay, only uh, no freshmen are watching this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, what sound or noise do you love? Uh, my family's laughter, especially my kids. That's nice. Um, what profession would you most like to do? That's a trick question. <laughs> uh, teaching, and if it weren't, then I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what profession would you not want to do? I wouldn't want to work in sewage no poop i don't want to deal with poop like like for teaching freshman classes <laughs> uh, if heaven exists what would you want to hear god say when you arrive at the pearly gates he's definitely gonna say i'm glad you're here justin timberlake just showed up justin timberlake is he waiting is he god for you no oh. no he'd just be there waiting for me the arms wide open? Yes. If there was one moment that you could take and put in a box that you could keep for an eternity, what moment would that be? Just one moment? Yes, just one moment. Oh, I guess playing on the beach with my kids and my husband in Hawaii. Not, not teaching any classes? No, I want to be with my family. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you've been teaching at Peavey for 16 years. What drew you to English instead of like a history or science? Well, one, because I'm good at it. Um, and I like storytelling. And um, yeah, I think it just highlights some of my strengths. So if Mr. Shepard took your teaching credentials away, what profession would you follow instead? I'd like to see Mr. Shepard try to. <laughs> um, but if he could, um, I would be an astronaut. Well, that's yeah. quite the difference in yeah. professions. I, that's, I wanted to be an astronaut for a long time when I was younger. Okay, thanks. Uh, since you teach at PV and at a university, do you have free time to yourself? No. I live in a classroom. Okay. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> so, uh, since you have such high standards for us in AP English, is teaching at high school any different than teaching at a university? Yes. Um, all my university students want to be there and pay to be there. Um, so I would say that's probably the biggest difference. They all, every last one of them, want to be there. And as much as I'd like to think that were the case with even AP, I don't think it is. <laughs> um, so uh, what three words would you describe your teaching? My teaching? Yeah. You should interview students on that one. I would describe Miss Bayard's teaching style as fervent, crafty, and harebrained. Demented, crafty, and a little bit evil. Cheeky, magnified, complex. Um, I think I'm challenging and enthusiastic and humorous, sure. <laughs> okay, well since you uh, brought up how you teach uh, students, what three words do you think your students would describe you? They would say I'm hard. And they would say, they would say I'm really funny. They would definitely emphasize, and they'd say I'm really beautiful too. Not impossible. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever visited another country? Say that again. Have you ever visited another country? Yes. Like what other countries? Um, I've been to a number of countries in Europe. 
um, Spain and France and England and I've been to the Bahamas and Indonesia and of course Mexico and Canada. Um, so that's like for vacation or? Um, a mixture, some for vacation, some for educational purposes. Uh, so like with, for the teachers of for global classrooms, did you travel to a foreign country? With yeah, that, uh, with that program I went to Indonesia and I spent a month in Indonesia. How was that, how was that like? It was amazing. It was life changing. Um, I got to go and work in schools and classrooms and see that even clear on the other side of the globe that really students are the same everywhere. They're just like mine. Uh, what, would be your, what would be your favorite experience in a foreign country and how has it affected your teaching? I think I've taken something different from each country I've been to. Um, but Indonesia was huge for me because I spent um, all of my time there really focused on education and how to be a better teacher and how to bring global education back to the United States. And so um, for me, that experience was probably most significant in the professional sense that I was able to come back and bring things into my classroom um, and teach my colleagues about global education. Okay. So what do you want your children to do when they get older? Um, anything that makes them happy and keeps them out of jail. You don't want them to follow your footsteps and become a teacher? Only if they want to. So what is your favorite moment that you have ever experienced? My favorite moment? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, favorite moment? Uh, traveling, probably, uh, with family. I mean, I have lots of favorite moments with traveling, but to pinpoint one, that's too hard for me. Not teaching us? Well, I mean, that's a different kind of favorite moment, but if you have to pick a favorite moment in your entire life, my favorite moment's probably going to have something to do with my family versus my other family, my school family. Okay. Um, is this something you've never accomplished but have always wanted to do? Oh, yeah. Lots of things. Um, professionally, um, I'd like to go back to school and get my doctorate. Um, for fun, I want to skydive. Um, still want to travel a lot of different places around the world. And, um, oh, yeah. There's always goals. It's good to have goals. Yeah. Uh, so what is your favorite piece of fi uh, fiction that you've ever read? That's impossible to ask an English teacher that question. You can't ask that question. <laughs> it's too hard. There's too many. But all of my students know that one of my favorite, favorite classics is To Kill a Mockingbird, of course, yeah. by Harper Lee. Yeah. Everyone should have to read it. <laughs> so uh, what is your favorite line from that piece? Um, probably the one that has a, goes somewhere along the lines, um, you never know, uh, you never really understand someone until you um, crawl into their skin and walk around. And, uh, who said that? Uh, well, I believe Attica, Attica, there's a couple different lines, but Attica says one of them. Okay. That's about it. Uh, okay. thank, thank you very much. You're welcome. What does the fuck say?